Alright guys, Tom here, and welcome to the third WrestleMania 29 prediction video, and today we are predicting Kane and Daniel Bryan going 2-on-2, two two, sorry, with Biggie Langston and the Money in the Bank winner, Dolph Ziggler. This could be a pretty good match, guys. I'm really, really looking forward to this match. And Biggie Langston is going in his first ever WWE match at WrestleMania 29. It's going to be absolutely epic. I think this match could possibly be one of the surprising matches at WrestleMania 29. It could possibly be a really, really entertaining match. I mean, Biggie Langston looks like a, a hench guy. He looks good. He, he will. I can't wait to see him in the ring. Going two on two with Kane and Daniel Bryan, who have the tag team championships. I mean, think of the possibility of Biggie Langston and Dolph Ziggler possibly becoming one of the like the strongest team in WWE at, the, at this point. Being absolutely, I mean, Biggie Langston has been getting into some some fights with like guys like Kofi Kingston and Chris Jericho and stuff. He's really been getting involved with guys like that, and, and having Dolph Ziggler and Biggie Langston being the tag team champions. This could be absolutely epic. And also having AJ Lee being a Divas champion if they go with that match at WrestleMania 29 between Caitlyn and AJ Lee. She becoming the Divas champion. And hang on a minute. Dolph Ziggler cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase and becoming the World Heavyweight Champion at the same time. This could be absolutely epic, guys. This really could be the year of Dolph Ziggler. I mean... Honestly, this could be absolutely awesome. Just thinking about it, I can't honestly wait for this match. Biggie Langston, I've just covered him, could be an absolute brute force in this match. And he could be really ab absolutely amazing. Looking forward to him. Dolph Ziggler and Daniel Bryan in the same match together. They put on an absolutely amazing match on Monday Night Raw. They're two of their like, top guys in the WWE. They're the most technical wrestlers in the wrestling industry at the moment and in WWE. They can put on one hell of a match. Kane, still ridiculously awesome in the ring. Sadly, though, his funny side has been used now. He probably couldn't come back come back as one of the, the scary guys in the WWE, but he still can put on a pretty decent match. And I mean, when Kane and Daniel Bryan first became the tag team champions way, way, way back, it must have been at Night of Champions when Kane and Daniel Bryan defeated R-Truth and Kofi Kingston. So they've been the tag team champions for over 200 days. That's, that's a pretty long time to be tag team champions with a division that s s stops and starts all the time. And I think that's props to these guys for really showing what they can do and keeping the fans entertained for over 200 days in a division which really isn't that interesting. And having champions holding it for that time is pretty emphatic. And I mean, props to Kane and Daniel Bryan for doing it, like I've just said. But sadly, at Royal Rumble 2013, I said... I feel like Kane and Daniel Bryan's time is up, but they're still going at it at WrestleMania 29. They're still the tag team champions, and I think their run has slowly died over the past few weeks. Not, They haven't been great. They haven't... I don't remember the last time they, they faced in a ring together on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown. So I think, sadly, the time at WrestleMania 29 is going to end for Kane and Daniel Bryan. We all know as soon as Kane and Daniel Bryan lose that tag team championship, they'll be done. They won't They won't be a tag team ever again. I mean, if you think way back at Night of Champions 2012, the only reason why they won that tag team championship is and why they were in that match is because they got put together by Dr. Shelby because they had anger problems. So as soon as they lose the championships, this team is gone. And I think they've wear worn it out a little bit. They're still freaking fucking hilarious. They're absolutely hilarious. But I think their time has come up and WrestleMania 29 is the time to just say goodbye to this hilarious tag team. Amazing tag team. But I think they've done everything they can do with these guys. And I think this is the time to end it at WrestleMania 29. But looking back at Dolph Ziggler and Biggie Langston, them being the tag team champions could really be something big. On the same night, AJ Lee, Mrs. Hottie, the little mink she is, could be the ta she could become the Divas champion on the same night. And then guess what? Dolph Ziggler could go and cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase on the same night. I've discussed why he possibly couldn't 
uh, uh, cashing his money in the bank briefcase on the same night. Go and watch that video if you haven't watched it already. But this could be an absolutely amazing year for Dolph Ziggler, Biggie Langston, and AJ. Dolph Ziggler especially. So hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm going to be predicting that Kane and Daniel Bryan are going to lose their tag team championships at WrestleMania 29 on Sunday. So Dolph Ziggler and Biggie Langston will be the new tag team championship champions. Hopefully AJ Lee wins and Dolph Ziggler also cashes in. So Dolph Ziggler and Biggie Langston will win the tag team championships if you believe in me. Thanks for watching and goodbye. And today I'm predicting the match, which to be honest, shouldn't even be on the card, shouldn't be on the pre-show either. It's just nothing. It's Road Scholars and the Bella Twins versus Tensai and Bronus Clay and the Funkadactyls being Cameron.